video, we'll talk about how to use headers and footers in LaTeX. We'll use a simple use case without any package, and then we'll use a package and we can use logos as well in, in our footers or headers. So let's get started. So let me start with a two-sided book. So this is the preamble section, and then we have the basic document body where we put all our text. And I'm using this Lipsum package. Lipsum package will give us some random data where we want it. So creating a section, putting Lipsum. So I'm using curly brackets, but you should actually use a square bracket in there, but it both, both works. So with that, I have a document on the right-hand side, which you can see different sections. It's all looking good. Let's start working on our headers and footers now. So I'm going to use the page style, my headings. And the next thing I'll say that I want this text for the even page header and the odd page header. You would see that for odd page, we have this header. And for the even page, we have this header. So you can control the headers on odd and even page by putting the appropriate text in there. So let's go back to an article class, which is just a single sided page. And then you would notice that this thing will stop working because for odd as well as for even, we are just getting you know, the first or, or odd page number. So if I change it to two sided, that behavior will come back. So we can have odd page header on the odd pages and even page header on the even pages. So let's use um, a package to do some more stuff. So I'm using the fancy header package. So this is a document class, which is an article class. So I'm using the fancy header package and I'm saying page style is fancy. And there are of course other page styles as well, which I've listed here. So you can create the headers and the footers like this. So L for left, R for right, and C for center. You can control the position of the headers as well as for footers. So you can see that we have a nice header and also a very nice footer. Now let's put a rule or a ruler line on the footer as well. And I can change the thickness of that. And you will notice that header automatically has a, a, a rule there or a line there. We can also control its thickness as well. And I want to change the colors. So I'm using this um, uh, color packet, X color package. And then I'm going to say that I want to use the blue color for the header and red color for the footer. And you can see that it's working. What if you wanted to have two lines in your footer? Sometimes you need two lines on your footer. You can do it by separating it by backslash new line character and it works perfectly all right. And now let's talk about putting a logo. So I'll be using the graphics package for that. And then I'm going to use the fancy foot on the right hand side. I want to put a logo and I can define the location of the file like this, or you can put it in the same folder, then you don't have to specify the full path. Or you can use graphics path package. Notice that I've put two curly braces. You don't have to, one single curly bracket is enough. So you can put the path of all your image files here and then remove it from um, your actual include graphics line. So we have defined our graphics path and we have defined our actual file and you can control the height of that. Don't control the width and height, just control one thing, either the height or the width. And then you can see that the logo, logo is being placed. What if I wanted the logo on all three positions so I can use different image files for um, putting on left, center and right. In this case, I'm just using one uh, logo which will appear on all the three positions in your footer, left, right and center. So let's compile it and see, and we will have footers with three images. If you're new to LaTeX, you will have to install MicTech console first, and then install text 
Studio or Tech Studio, or you can use Overleaf, which is an online application on cloud. You can use either. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.